All right, friends, hello and welcome to this, uh, the 3rd of February 2016, and you are listening to Poem Physics 365, physics every second of every hour of every day. I am your host, Eli Hibbett, and let's take a look. On this day in physics, uh, 3rd of February 1966, the Soviet Luna 9 spacecraft landed on the moon, making it the first soft landing on a non-Earthen body in human history. A soft landing is a controlled landing, i.e. not a crash, where there is no major damage to the craft. The probe was unmanned and did contain a camera to take pictures, which were sent back to Earth until the 6th of February when the batteries finally died. <laughs> so that's what's going on in physics past. Let's take a look at physics present, the word of the day, the inertial reference frame. An inertial reference frame is one that is not accelerating. It is a theoretical construct, but very useful in the theory of relativity. Imagine yourself right now sitting. To you, you're not moving, even if you're driving, or riding, or running, or walking. But, for this argument, let's say that you are sitting, totally still. You're holding a ball, why not, and decide to throw it. Once it's thrown, it is subject to the acceleration of gravity, and so, if you're a physics type, you'll be able to do some calculations about its motion, and would be able to say for certain that from your inertial reference frame of not moving, that the ball has a certain velocity, a certain acceleration, etc., and all those calculations you did are totally valid considering your perspective of being totally motionless. But then remember that you're on a planet spinning around its axis, which is revolving around the sun, which is in the arm of a spiral galaxy. So you're not really stationary. But theoretically, you're totally still. And from your inertial reference frame, you are totally motionless. If you were sitting on the couch, and in front of you there was an elevator, which was to be rocketed upwards, exactly opposing the acceleration of gravity... Once that rocket was launched, someone inside the elevator would have a perceived weightlessness, and there would be no ex experiment they could do from inside that elevator to find out if they were truly motionless or undergoing corresponding opposing accelerations. If that elevator was to leave the Earth's atmosphere and enter a truly weightless environment, far from the shackles of planetary gravity, and the rocket were to continue accelerating at the same rate of gravitational acceleration, like 9.81 meters per second squared, anyone inside the elevator would feel as though they were standing on Earth, and they would not be able to tell if they were being accelerated by a rocket or if they were being gravitationally attracted by a mass. This led Einstein to the conclusion that mass warps space-time. The problem is that there is no truly inertial reference frame from which all measurements can be made you know, as a reference point, because something is always moving with respect to something else, or so we believe in 2016. Tune in in a hundred years to see if this podcast still holds water. So, there you go, guys. That's what an inertial reference frame is. From your perspective, you're totally motionless. And, uh, but, you know. So, let's take a look at our quote of the day from Albert Einstein, the man um, who started it all in terms of relativity and reference frames and inertial reference frames and non-inertial reference frames. So an, a non-inertial reference frame is if you're accelerating. If you're sitting on an airplane when it's taking off and you're accelerating like crazy, that's you in a non-inertial reference frame. So let's take a look at his quote of the day. Nothing happens until something moves. I think it's rather fitting for today's podcast, but I think that's going to do it for today. So inertial reference frame, 3rd of February 2016. This is Pwn Physics 365 signing off, so I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Take care.